Hello, I'm going to be presenting the Discrete Choice and Applications tutorial by Flavio Chirichetti, Ravi Kumar, and Andrew Tompkins. Discrete Choice is what happens when a user has to make a choice among a set of finite possible options. In this case, the blue user might want to go to lunch and will choose as, its, uh, as the place to, uh, to have lunch in the pizza place, whereas the gray user might prefer the hot dog place to the pizza place and to the restaurant. From the point of view of the system, a random user coming in gives rise to a choice distribution, a probability distribution over the uh, choices available uh, to the users. Uh, this is quite important, for instance, in the case of uh, maps, when a user comes into a web system and searches for all the restaurants available in one area. Knowing the probabilities with which uh, the user will uh, have lunch in uh, one of the available restaurants is quite important, for instance, for presenting the results in the optimal possible way. A discrete choice is important in many different web applications. One is definitely the Maps one, but we also have the 10 blue links on the left, or uh, choosing a movie uh, to uh, see tonight, that's the top option, or maybe deciding what to purchase, that's the bottom options. And how do users choose between these options? Uh, a very famous model introduced by Marshak in the 60s is called RAM, or Random Utility Model. In this model, each user has a total order among all the options in the world, and given a slate, a set of possible options, will just choose the option in the slate that's highest in his or her order. RAMs contain a special case with several other important choice models, including multinomial logics. And how do RAM or random utility models work? Well, suppose we have two types of users, yellow and orange, which have their preference over all the options in the world. And let's say that the yellow users are represented uh, in 60% of the population, whereas the orange users are the remaining 40%. Well, when a random user uh, gets drawn, and the slate is maybe trains and buses, we will see that uh, the random user will select buses with probability 60%, that is, with the probability of that user being yellow, and trains with probability 40%, the probability of the user being orange. So the topics we would like to uh, present in this tutorial are uh, various, and they all revolve around RAMs. First of all, we would like to introduce them, and introduce in particular many important special cases of them, and some of their uh, generalizations. We would like to present algorithms for compressing, fitting, and learning RAMs, and some of their variants, and also discuss a number of applications of RAMs in the context of the web, including, for instance, their connections to deep nets, document ranking, and recommender systems. We expect the audience to be comprised of uh, researchers interested in choice modeling in web applications, or porting, or computational aspects of choice, and also practitioners interested in applying these models to real-world problems. Also, students that are exploring new research directions uh, would be more than welcome. Uh, the, tu the tutorial will be self-contained and will not assume any background in choice theory. Thank you very much.